Welcome to another tutorial on Clear Analytics. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to create a report. First, we double click on the Report Explorer icon and the Report pane opens up. We see their reports in private, shared, and public access levels. We are going to create a report in private and if it is deemed useful, we can later share it or put it in the public access level. We'll click on the plus sign, which is an add report icon. Next, we go to choose the um, queries we would like. Our report is going to be about sales, so we'll choose a pre-created sales report um, query. Once we click on it, uh, this little box opens up and we choose a pre-created custom group. We can also choose static data if we wish. We give the report a name, sales. There is also a scheduling uh, pane over here where we can schedule uh, the date and time when we would like it. So one could have a report ready in the morning when you come in. Next, we save and execute and we see the message executing the report. While we are waiting, I will show you the monitor pane. We go to and we see our report is processing. Let's go to a previous report. And here we see the parameters. Uh, it had queries and uh, what the values were. And if we click in the result summary, it shows us for each query of static data, how many row counts were given to us. Let's go back to the uh, report and click on the template. Now uh, we see that our report is done. There are several pre-created layouts. Um, let's choose the sales one and we click open and the layout comes onto our worksheet. For the sake of uniformity, uh, in a company, you could just uh, you could choose just one layout. Now, let's open up the sales report, and we see our query, and it allows us to use the data sets from the query in the form of a pivot table, a chart, or a table. We also see that you have a custom group as well. So let's go ahead and create a chart. We double click on the chart icon. And the field list comes up. Let us choose sales year to date and the name of the territory. Now we can use all normal charting devices. We can change the chart type to a pie chart. We can choose the layout and we can choose the style. And there we have a chart. Let's open a new workbook and open up a pivot table. And from the field list, let us choose again the sales figure and group region and name. And here we have a, a classic uh, pivot table showing uh, the countries, the regions, and the continents. And with this pivot table, we have the normal sort and uh, filter uh, uh, functionality in Excel. Now let's open up another worksheet and let's insert a table over here. We double click on it. The table will open up in the cell which we had clicked on earlier. Here is the field list and we have the ability to select or deselect whatever fields we want and order 
also arrange them in the order that we wish. So let's go ahead and choose what we would like. There is a custom uh, group here. Let's bring that up as well. Okay, we'll deselect the other fields and just select these fields. We hit apply. And the table is created. Now we can format the table as we would like it to be. And we have a table with all its functionality in Excel. Now, um, if we come to, uh, you see here the report shows as um, with a check mark. We're going to save this template. So all the layout will be associated with this particular um, report whose name is sales. And that changes to uh, an Excel box with an X in it. If we come to active reports, we see that we have dynamic refresh capabilities. We can change it for any other data set and hit go and the dates of uh, the charts will stay the same but the data will be for the new date selected also we have total traceability for each of the items on in the worksheet we see the report where it's come from and the name of the query or static data um, which is associated with it and the date uh, of the um, that the data is for so this concludes our video on reports. Thank you for watching.